Hi there, Internet. I'm Polar the Polar Bear, and this is my girlfriend, Melissa. Hello! You'll have to forgive us, we're both exhausted today. And sweaty, we've been doing things. <laughs> Neither of us slept very well. Um, yeah, we did try and sleep, but without much success. <laughs> but welcome to another episode of Bear Selenius All the Same. Uh, today we are trying Rockstar Boo! <laughs> Energy! Ugh! Whipped orange. We're both really excited about this. Um, yeah, oh, so, because I, I, I don't know, it's not like, it makes me think of, like, orange whipped cream. Like an orange which, creamsicle. Yeah. Yeah, mm. which we both love. Um, so, we got this, I think, at a Winco? It was at Winco, yes. And um, price, we're not sure. We bought it a little while ago, but I'm going to say it's somewhere between, they're, they tend to have good prices on their stuff. So Yeah, Winco is um, a good good store if you don't already shop. Though. Yeah, I would say it's anywhere between like a buck fifty and like two seventy five. Yeah, somewhere two, in that 229 range. more likely. Yeah, it's yeah. probably a little over two bucks is my guess on that. Um, but... Either way, not a bad not, price. Not cheaper. super costly. Yeah, cheaper than a convenience store. I think those tend to run upwards of $3 if you get them individually. Depending, so, yeah. yeah. Um, so. And the nutrition info for this will be in the description down below for those interested in it. Yeah. Um, I'm excited. Rockstar. Boo! Boo! Energy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very flashy packaging. So. Which I like. I like. Oh uh, yeah, we're both we're both suckers <laughs> for packaging. Like even if we don't like something, we both will go like in the store. It's, Woo! it's cool. It's got like a black, like an all black top yeah. to it, and it's very. Oh, it smells good. You wanna give it a whiff? Oh yeah, look, it looks orange creamy. It does. It's like a milky orange color. Yeah. Neat. Don't let this be like the horchata drink, okay? I have I have a PTSD now about energy drinks. <laughs> you have uh, abandonment issues yes. about that because I abandoned you and drank that whole drink myself. It's very good. It doesn't taste like an orange creamsicle, honestly. It does to me. Really, I don't get. I it just tastes good. It tastes like a good oh, like I get that. sweet orange. I get I get more orange than I do cream. Yeah, I, I do too, but it's like a sweet orange to but me. But I get a little of the cream. Oh my god, this is amazing. It's really good, yeah. If we finish it, we can always film another energy drink today. <laughs> We're both exhausted. That's so good. It is very good, yeah. Oh my god, you want me to get my rating? Yeah, go ahead. You first. That is awesome. <laughs> um, I dig that. I can taste the cream, I can taste the orange, it's sweet but not too sweet. Um, it's fizzy, which I always prefer my drinks fizzy if I can in any way control yeah. that. Um, I like that a lot. Can you give it like a 0.5 score? We don't do that usually. I I have, I normally just say if it's like, if it would be like a 5.5, I normally just say it's like a mid 5 or a high 5. Okay. Or, yeah. I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. Um, I like it. It's almost a 9, but, well... Screw it. It's a nine. <laughs> nice. I like it. Um, I like it. I think if we had gotten it and paid a little more for it, I might have knocked it down a bit because I'm cheap. Um, but we paid a pretty we good price are. for it. <laughs> um, Rockstar traditionally makes good drinks. Um, their spin-off drinks are good. Their original one tastes kind of like... Well, their original one tastes me. like the energy drink. Rockstar, Monster, they all taste like sweet awful. <laughs> yeah, but their flavored ones have been good. Like I've been yes. very pleased with the... like. And they seem to have, like, all new varieties all the time. And so, like, as a brand, I'm really happy yeah, with I, what they're producing. I love brands that go all gimmicky and bring out new flavors constantly. Like, that yeah. makes me happy, so. Yeah. So, um, so, yeah, I just think it's so good. Like, it's so good. I can't, I don't know how else to describe it. Um, generally, I tend to go for a little more tart and fruity kind of flavors. Um, this is a little more subdued because of the cream, but I really like it. So, I'm going to say 9 out of 10. And I'm going to say get it because... I don't know if it's all around all the time. And they have a strawberry whipped one, I think, too. Which we'll have to we try are gonna that have now. to get because yeah. this one was good. I imagine that's gonna Strawberry be whipped will be probably even better than this one. Yeah. But uh yeah, nine out of ten, and I thoroughly recommend that you go get one because it's amazing. I uh, I don't like it as much as she does, but I still like it. I, I give it I give it a good solid seven. seven oh, wow. out of ten. So oh. I was like two above you. Yeah, yeah. You, you liked it I think quite a bit more yeah. than I did. But speaking I, of I'll uh you want to, okay. I'll put it in my special storage place. <laughs> Your stomach. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I dig that. Um, I don't I don't get as much cream, I think, as she's getting, which is probably why I'm rating it a little lower than, than she is. I feel like if it did 
Like, if it actually tasted like an orange creamsicle, which there exists a drink that tastes like exactly like an orange creamsicle, it's called orange creamsicle water. <laughs> and I don't think we've done it for the show, but maybe we will sometime. Alternatively, you could just get an orange creamsicle, because that sounds amazing now, too. That's true. <laughs> um, but, like, if, if it actually did taste exactly like an orange creamsicle, I'm sure I'd rate it a 9 or even a 10, because I love those things. But it's, it's a nice, sweet, with a little bite on the back of it, orange... <sighs> And I, I just I just don't get the whipped, I just get the orange, unfortunately. We've so. established, too, though, that you've probably murdered your taste buds a right. little more well, than our, me. Well, our so. taste buds are both, like, that's that's why it's good that, like, that we're, we're co-hosts, because I, I have a radically different taste bud set than you do. Yeah, like, I'll, we'll get different flavors out of things, so. so. they the, the, the audience knows, like, if if they more if more generally agree with you to follow your recommendations, if they more generally agree with me to follow my recommendations, kind but of who thing. doesn't always agree with me? Like, are there people <laughs> like that out there? <laughs> <laughs> Do they even exist? I don't, we, there's not like a really big Melissa versus Polar fan club going that no, I know of. That would be rude, guys, because we love each other. We, we, don't, do, need, yeah, we don't need to try and break us up via dividing into teams. We, yeah, we don't need divisiveness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. But if let's be clear, though. If that did happen, I would crush you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do have looks on your side. You are purdy. Oh. Too. Fun story. Oh, well, we're geez. going off on a tangent, but we were leaving Taco Bell today, and the lady said, uh, "Have a great day, ladies." Yeah, <laughs> I, I guess I didn't say anything while we were there, and all she she couldn't see my face. I was in the passenger seat, so she was like, "Good day, bye, ladies." Yeah, and Melissa, have a good day, ladies. Melissa pulled away and started cracking up, and she looks at me and she's like, "You're a lady now." <laughs> uh, uh. So, so next time I go into that Taco Bell, I'm going to have to put on my uh, a lot of beaver housing outfit. Yeah, and really, might as well. Really give them a shock. But uh, but yeah, 7 out of 10 for that. And I, I'd recommend it. It's good. I don't recommend that like, yeah, go get it right now. But like if, if you see that, it's a good, like if you like a nice, nice orangey flavor. It's so good. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> Third time. <laughs> um... Yeah. It's so good. I love it. So thank you for joining us on another episode of Bear Saladius, and we hope to see you all again very, very soon. Bye!